Hey guys, so, you know, sometimes I can't sleep well at night and I sit and I think about things, you know, and one of the things I think about a lot is, uh, you know, if we pick something up, like, how do we know that what they say is in this bottle is actually in this bottle? You know, like, how do we know that? Do we know that for a fact? And uh, there's some brands that made me rethink a lot about, you know, how do we believe them? Do we trust them? Is it really cruelty free? Is there other things in there we don't know about? Um, and recently I was talking about copper peptides a little bit. And uh, you guys have been asking for my source because I've been adding uh, a little bit of this to other products. And anyway, so I'm working on it because, um, so I picked these up from a third party vendor copper peptides and I want to test them before I tell you guys uh, where I picked them up because I want to make sure and verify that uh, it is the purity and actually copper peptides so before I, uh, I I'm gonna give you guys more information about it hopefully in the next few days but uh, anyway and it's nice because it's like a powder and you just add it to uh, a serum I've been adding it to the ordinary serum to make it from 1% copper peptides to 2%. I think I'm going to add a little bit to my lash serum. But anyway, so I'm working on testing it. I think it's like a couple hundred bucks to test, if I, test it and verify that it is copper peptides and what uh, purity it is and things like that. So before I go around telling everybody where it is from, I want to make sure it's a good product. And that kind of leads me on to, you know, there are some brands that really made me think, rethink everything about skincare. Um, I mean, is it actually the product that they say it is? Is it if a brand says they're cruelty free? Are they actually cruelty free? If a brand says they're organic, how do we know? Uh, I mean, with sunscreens, do we actually believe a brand is giving us SPF 50 when they're promising it, or you know, is it not? And uh, are there other chemicals in this product that aren't even disclosed? And there's several brands that made me rethink this, and I guess I'm I tend to be a a pessimist, not so much an optimist, more of a little bit of pessimistic uh, tendency because uh, I just don't necessarily just trust everything just because somebody says it is. And I think a lot of that gets down to reputation of a brand. Um, and interestingly enough, I'm gonna talk about a few things here, but there's a company called Valisher and they've done independent t testing on a lot of different products. One of them was um, a Zantac, generic uh, Zantac stomach acid pill. Uh, they tested that and found out it contained benzene. I think probably some of it was from the coating, but some people, including myself, had been taking that for quite a long time, and we've just exposed ourselves to benzene. Uh, Valisher was also the one that tested the sunscreens from Neutrogena, Johnson & Johnson, and found the benzene in there. And they were also the one that tested several brands of Bakuchiol serums, uh, including Herbivore, and found that it doesn't contain any. So as a Valisher company, they do this to fund this themselves. So it's amazing, and I wish uh, more people like us had resources to do it all and test it ourselves. I mean, if I'm going to use this product for the next six years of my life, I really want to know if it's got the peptides in it, how much, things like that. So um, anyway, so brands that made me really question all of this, obviously, first off, Neutrogena, Johnson & Johnson, Banana Boat, uh, all of the sunscreens that they found benzene in, I believe on a CVS shelf of 200 different sunscreens, benzene was tested and found in 78 of them, uh, which was almost, which, what does it end up being? Around, in the total of sunscreens sold by CVS uh, online and in the store, it ended up being over 30% of the sunscreens contained some amount of benzene, which was not disclosed. And I mean, so when I talk about trust, it's like, well, uh, how do you know what you can trust? I mean, there goes Ike. Thank you, Ike. Just breathing loudly. Anyway, I mean, how do we know we can trust them? I, mean, I think reputation is something, uh, looking at who owns the company, things like that. But then you look at Johnson Johnson, Neutrogena, they've been around forever. So shouldn't they be trustworthy? I mean, compared to some startup company, some new skincare brand that no one's ever heard of? You'd think you'd be able to trust them more. I don't know. Um, anyway, so the benzene in a lot of them was a huge issue. Uh, when it comes to other sunscreens, uh, are they actually delivering the SPF they promise? Uh, Purito made me question this. Claire's, Keep Cool. 
uh, and tons of other K-Beauty sunscreens. These, these just happen to be three of the big names, and I don't think Keep Cool is around anymore. Uh, I kind of looked for them today, and I didn't see any listings or anything from them, so I don't see Keep Cool. Maybe they went under. They handled the sunscreen scandal terribly, terribly. They should have apologized and things like that, but instead they went on the attack, and it was just bad. But how do we know? I mean, so if a brand doesn't disclose, like Purito, I was very suspicious of the sunscreen the whole time. But other people that I thought knew more than me vouched for it. Uh, big, big chemist uh, uh, does a lot of YouTube videos, vouched for them, wrote up the whole thing on her page about how the great it was and how light it was and yada, yada, yada. That there's no way I know more than she does. And sadly, I was right i wish i had been wrong but anyway how i mean how do we know when a brand doesn't even disclose what percentages of filters are in them how do we know we don't i mean we're going by blind faith and a lot of people uh i think just because one person vouches for a brand doesn't mean uh that it's actually that great just because somebody you respect typically i you know what like if somebody criticizes me if it's not somebody i don't if it's somebody i don't know and don't respect i don't really care what they say about me if it's somebody i respect and honor and trust then it's a different thing but that gets in a whole nother thing i mean how do you know that these sunscreens deliver what they say they do i mean so thankfully there's a company uh Insta decoder they went and tested some of these sunscreens out and we found out that they're nowhere near spf 50 they're more like spf 19 which is not great at all uh, and then just anecdotal notes from other people that tested it out and mentioned, you know what, I'm getting hyperpigmentation using this time and time again. So listen to other people out there. And if lots of people are saying that they're getting hyperpigmentation and dark spots and things like that from using it, it's something to think about. Go with your gut more than anything. Other brands that made me question things, Mario Badescu putting undisclosed steroids in many of their products. I have no idea why they did this, why they thought this was a good idea, uh, except for the fact that maybe because once these people bought these products and the steroids were acclimated to their skin and they tried another product and it reacted terribly, they had to go back to buying this product to get the steroids. Uh, I, I don't know how they thought they wouldn't get caught, but eventually a dermatologist in uh, Korea did some testing because they noticed they had several clients coming in with issues trying to get off this specific product. Tested it, boom, here we go. Steroids and a lot of their products. Uh, and then we come back to another brand. Uh, it's now called Truly, but it used to be called Truly Organic. Uh, they were selling under the name Organic, and they weren't, in fact, organic at all. In fact, they don't even make their own product. Uh, and now they're all over the shelves of Ulta. I'd say not to buy them for more than just the the uh, distrust I have with them for marketing themselves as organic when they weren't organic. But none of their products have seals and labels and things. And Ulta, every, on their Reddit thread, they're always throwing a bunch away because people unscrew the cap at the store and smell and then put it back. There's no labeling. There's no... Uh, there's no seals on anything. So that's another reason not to buy them because you don't know how many people have opened it on the shelf and then just put it back. You have no idea. And you know what, half the Ulta stores, they probably don't know either. Uh, and then another, uh, one other brand, Herbivore, uh, selling a product that they called Bakuchiol without any Bakuchiol in it. Uh, another another thing that was found out by Valisher that, yeah, they're selling this and there's absolutely zero in there. So you're not getting any of the benefits of it. And it's like a $60 serum. So anyway, I guess you got to go with your gut brands, reputations, uh, sometimes listening to people you trust, but sometimes they don't know everything either. So, you know, I guess it comes down to, I mean, you really don't know what you're using unless you send it to a lab and have it tested. That's it. You don't know. And uh, it's kind of unfortunate that we're at this time, but I think, uh, thinking about all these things, I guess you can go by certain brands' reputations, and some of them might have a long, long reputation, uh, and then do something stupid like benzene. I mean, Neutrogena, they're a pretty well-respected brand, but you know what? They screwed up on their quality control and let in cancerous materials into their sunscreens, which is uh, kind of a big issue. So, And then some brands that are so small, you know what? If they're a fly-by-night company, do you really know? I mean, it's I guess you got to go with your gut and uh, your experience with the product, and in some cases, other people's experience with the product. And you know what, more than anything, your gut and what you find uh, to use with the product. So I think, I hope a lot of the people that were noticing hyperpigmentation and redness, 
using the Purito sunscreen. I hope they went with their gut and switched to something else uh, instead of waiting for more damage to occur and then finding out, yeah, it's really, there's not much sunscreen in here at all. It's not much better than any lotion. It's a little bit better, but not much. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm more interested in your thoughts. What do you go by to trust something? Uh, do you go by your gut? Do you go by what other people say? Do you go by the brand reputation? Do you go with your experience? So anyway, there's no uh, crystal clear rule. So anyway, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And I will see you more tomorrow. Things that keep me up at night. It's strange, isn't it? Anyway, okay. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.